Oh hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Kobe Scroby and welcome to Soma. Thanks so much for coming to hang out with me today. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoy the stream, don't forget to hit the like button for me. Leave me your thoughts in the comments. You can also subscribe to the channel for more streams and other videos. Dishonest, what's going on? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. So this morning I was told while playing a game of Search and Destroy that we were going out to eat. I asked, can I finish this match? My father said, no, we're leaving now or else you're not going. <laughs> so I set the controller on the bed and my headset. After that, everyone was treating me like crap. Well, what the hell? Why they do? Why they what? 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 You did what you were told. I don't know. <laughs> it was specifically over that. Just because you asked, I would have asked too if I was in the middle of doing something. I don't get it. So, this game I found out while I was setting this up was made by the same developers that made Amnesia, The Dark Descent. This game was made in, came out in 2015. I have heard many good things about it. I listened to a podcast about it uh, a year ago and I almost played it last October, uh, but I didn't get to it. And then I was listening to that same podcast talk about, I think talk about Stray, uh, the game Stray with the cat. And they brought this up and how good it was. And it's so good that it's one of those games that they wished that they could forget all about it just for the pleasure of playing it new again. So we're going to get to it right now. Uh, I got my heart rate monitor going, which I'm excited. I hope it's scary. Uh, I think it'll be fun. So let's get started. Normal. Monsters are dangerous and can kill you. You need to think and sneak to survive. The way the game was designed from the start. Monsters are still creepy but can't kill you. You don't need to worry about stealth. Oh, there's no hard? Okay, I guess you gotta beat it and then maybe you'll get new game plus. I just had to walk 2.6 miles back to the room because my grandmother wanted us to put her futon in our storage and get rid of our belongings for her. And nobody could give you a ride? Well, that's good of you to do that, even though you didn't get a ride. You went and did it anyway, because there was no room for her futon. You guys probably don't have any room for it in your place either. No, they could. They chose not to give you... Well, what the hell? That's not cool. Just being, just being lazy, not giving you a ride? If it's only 2.6 miles, too... Somebody can stop what they're doing and give you a ride, I feel like. Here we go. Then they gave all these excuses as to why they didn't. Were they doing anything or just sitting around and watching or, or playing something? Reality is that which... Are you okay, Simon? When you stop believing you in it, it doesn't go away. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. What? Here, take this. No, that that's for later, for the scan. Volume it's warning. Green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Lynch? Why is there never enough time? For what? Oh. Jeez. That's a powerful vibrator right there. Okay, I am glad that I turned the audio down. Jeez, look. It's like 50... F f barely above 50%. Jeez. <laughs> Sorry about that. They were in, they were all in, they were all in a car at that moment. So they were already in a car and couldn't take you 2.6 miles. What the hell? <laughs> That's even worse. 
I mean, it's one thing to be lazy and be like, no, nah, I don't feel like getting up and driving you. But if you're actually in the car already. <laughs> All right, let's try this. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett. Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain Munchie. scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. I feel like I need to turn it down some more. I don't know, man. As far as I can tell, like, you're the one that's always doing the right thing. You know, like, cleaning up the TV and stuff that somebody else smashed all over outside. And going to help your grandma, even though you don't have a ride. Walking 2.6 miles. Um, you know, you seem like the one that's always doing the right thing. Though I don't know the rest of your family. But that's what it feels like to me. So I don't understand why. Oh, okay. Sorry. One more thing. I had to move my mouse a long way to, to move that far. There, that's a little bit better. All right. What do we got? Oh, it's one of these games where I have to move the mouse to open it. Okay. That's fine. Okay, I can scroll wheel to... Is that a... Oh, I thought that was like a... Put the tracer fluid? A razor. Like a straight razor. Well, that's kind of cool. Like, that's pretty easy to, like, move stuff where I want it. Can I actually break this? Dang. Where are you? That thing's that thing's durable. Alright, you stay there. Alright, I'm looking for radioactive tracer fluid. What's this? A lighter? Wait, can I like turn stuff? Not that I can see. What? Robin McConnell hooked. Malik, what's going on? Glad you can make it. Good to see you. My therapist always told me I'm too mature for my family. I can see that. <laughs> I think your therapist is right. <laughs> Mark and Diana Miller have finally caught a break. They've managed to save up enough money to make the fa to take the family on that vacation to Hawaii they've been talking about for so long. But as the sun sets over Waikiki beach that first day, Mark in Diana's paradise turns into a nightmare as swimmers are caught in thousands of thin strings stretched from somewhere below the waves. Slowly, swimmers are pulled screaming into the dark water. Desperate to get out of harm's way, their seven-year-old son Charlie is caught by the vicious tendrils. Suspenseful, mystical, and absolutely terrifying hook will pull you in look at the head on that thing oh whoa can only put it back they offered to buy me dinner as an apology microwave food which most I can't do to citric acid That's another thing too, like, I feel like your family should be the ones that know and are sympathetic to stuff that you need like that. Here you go, here's a pizza. <laughs> like, look at that, I could put that in there fairly easily. I don't imagine there's going to be anything super useful in any of these drawers. Nothing but fast food. Should buy something healthier on my way home. Alright, that can just stay there. 
can be very petty and immature, but I try not to. Like I was told today, I'm not allowed to verbally defend myself by your therapist. Simon Jarrett. Okay. Yeah, there's kind of crap food all over the place. Dirty clothes. Well, I guess the kitchen and the bedroom and the living room are all the same room. This is kind of a... I mean, this would be a cool apartment for like a single guy, like, like when I was younger, you know? Hey Simon, it's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, miss you, mean it. End of messages. I swear, that guy is the memory of a goldfish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? Your grandmother and parents told you that? Why? Why? <laughs> huh. What the hell? Oh, it's a bug. Coffee. Get well soon, love mom. Am I sick? I have no idea what that says. Whoops. Meet and Greek book signing. St. Mary Hospital. Uh, Gaduten? M N M R I contract contrast tracer fluid. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, there's a girl. Cause they knew I was right. We had no room in the storage, but instead they set her heavy ass futon on my stuff that had some collectibles and possibly your PlayStation. <clears throat> and see, this is why, this is why I, I want to do something for you, you know, like you seem very reasonable person, you know? A very reasonable, nice person. And shit just keeps happening to you, you know? And sorry it's taken so long to get this done. And I know I could be doing it instead of streaming, but at the same time, this probably helps you too, you know? Take you out of that a little bit and give you something else to, you know, entertain you for a couple hours or something, but I will get it done uh, for you. I'm also going to need um, a place to send it, like uh, a PayPal or Venmo or something. And it sounds like it'd be better to send it straight to you instead of to one of your family members. But I don't know. Whatever you think is, is the right thing to do. Neurograph session. Thank you again for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the PACE Laboratories in Toronto, but since we are guess our access is a bit unpredictable I will try to schedule a scan session for Saturday I will I'll get back to you when confirmed new prescription I'm happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent your latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering but it's still too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage the bleeding will continue over the coming months at least and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. Whoa. Since your brain's going to be bleeding for a how long? <laughs> uh, since excessive stress could be fatal, I have written you a prescription for Prazosin to help you with your nightmares. Please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. 
Try to get a lot of rest, and I will see you next week. Since you probably forgot... Oh, I forgot to hit send. Oh, this is from him to Jess. Since you probably forgot, here's me reminding you that I've got that doctor's appointment tomorrow, i.e. I'm not coming into work. This means you need to make sure you're actually on time to open up the store, and please unpack the boxes behind the counter. They are starting to become a workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better if they are put on shelves where people can actually see them. Good luck, you'll need it. Send. Bam. Better late than never. All right, I sent an email. I'm so good at this. Downtown accident kills young woman. Toronto, yesterday a driver distracted by her children ran a red light, causing her to blindside a car in the intersection of Bloor Street the mother and her children, traveling in a robust SUV, were left bruised but barely, largely unharmed. The other party was less lucky as the car crashed into the passenger side. Ashley Hall, 23, sustained devastating damages and suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs. Before the ambulance arrived, her friend and driver, Simon Jarrett, 26, survived but with complicated results believed to leave him with permanent brain damage. The driver of the SUV, whose name has been released by police, claims it was an accident. And practically unavoidable. So some lady, distracted by her kids, ran into me and my friend, who is a girl, though not doesn't seem like my girlfriend, I don't know, and she died, and I have brain damage. I'm way behind on stream. I was in a call with my mother. Oh, I was just, um, I'm just reading stuff around here, trying to explore and figure out what's going on. Um, uh, 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 what's this say? Mapping minds. Okay. Uh, I basically just said. Right. Watching TV gives me headaches now. Thank you, brain. All right, well, let's not watch TV then. I basically said, um, sorry it's taking so long to get the, uh, the thing set up for you, and that um, I'm going to need a PayPal or Venmo or something to send to you, and it might, sounds like it might be better to send it straight to you, uh, and not to any of your family members, but whatever you think is right. We can do. Aha! There it is. Press left mouse button when the item is displayed on the screen. That's the contrast fluid for the N. Like milk, but the taste—it's like sucking on a penny. For the NMRI. Can't turn the light off? There we go. Ooh, look at that reflection on the door. Okay. I think I've done everything I can do in here. I'm gonna shut that light off. Let's shut all the lights off. Ow. Summer's coming. Hope it's a good one. All right, let's go. Wait, did I leave the light on in there? Oh, it's just the window. Let's get out of here. Don't have PayPal. I can get one set up though. Okay. Yeah, it's fairly, I mean, it's fairly easy. You just put your information in there in a bank account. Arriving at Osgood. If I stare at this lady too long, will she react? Jess the gr Grimoire. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after this scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, you know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, 
good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. Don't find me in a phone booth. I'm looking for somebody to be doing something weird. Don't have a bank account either? Well, <sighs> either PayPal or Venmo or whatever the other pay app is on phones. I don't remember. At least it's a place to send it. And then you can... Hello? Dr. Munchie? Munchie. At least with PayPal, you can use it to pay for some places online. Where but I don't, I don't know. Would be busy. I don't know where else to send it if it's on like a phone app. So whatever, whatever works best for you. Uh, <laughs> at least it'll be stored in a PayPal and some websites let you use that as a payment. What? What is this? Like a makeup case? USB stick? Can I take that and put it in the computer? Trial and error. Put the scalpel away. The brain can heal itself. Brain has an amazing trans formative quality plasticity that allows it to compensate and even heal itself. Alright, I don't see anything of use. Paul, where are you? We've got a few hours. I got hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you already here? Talk to Pace about using the lab this week. I have managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. It would allow us to use their computers to run models and also if time slots open up we can get in there and use a scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of each other to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday I'm hoping Dr. Aaron Peak will send somebody over. She has a patient that was recently in a car crash. She should be interesting. That's me. We're locked out. I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change. So I called security, talked to Professor Wee to have him vouch for our project and finally got a hold of some honcho over at Pace's legal department that could re-grant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mails or texts, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forget. Okay. So I need to find a code? Is it in here? Can I plug this in? Do I have to find the code? Is it in here? Uh, Gene Lux, what's going on? Good to see you. This game title sounds interesting. Oh man, I heard it's so good. Uh, and I got it for free on the Epic Store like a year ago. It was one of the free games that they give away every couple weeks. And I just never got to it, so I'm excited to get into it now. They just pulled up my father's... Oh, father's plastered again? Oh, man. Good luck, man. I don't know. Hold on, I gotta try this. Like I said, I... 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 I, I wanna help... <laughs> I can't rotate items as far as I can tell. There, does that work? Okay, so I do have to find the code. This is the place, right? It must be. Dr. Munchie. Let's just call Munchie real quick. 
great. Got his phone turned off. That's okay. I can figure this out. Somers, Soma is a fictional drug from a dystopian novel called Brave New World. Oh. See, yeah, I don't know exactly what the what the name means. I have a feeling like it should be in the USB drive. Um, maybe it's in this notebook. Now that I know what I'm looking for. Oh. Is that 2501? I don't think that's a 7. 2501. Let's try it. Bam! <clears throat> Hold shift to run. Okay. Usually that means that there's something I'm going to have to run from. Like right here. Can't play with anything in here? What about this? <clears throat> Everything's locked. Explosives. Basically, it neutralizes people's feelings, so they only feel happiness. Oh, you know what? I need to play. I completely forgot. Um, we Happy Few. I do have that, and I've never played it. That one, they have a drug called Joy that makes people happy. <laughs> Ugh. Brain scans. I don't see anything I can really do anything with. All right, it is 10, 11. Really, I've never played it. I've watched videos on it, and I think I've played it by myself for like a little bit, but not very much. Wondering if they took inspiration from the novel. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yes, so you're supposed to take your joy pill. I don't know all the story to it, but if you, and if you do, you see everything as nice and happy and pretty. Uh, but if you don't, you see how things really are, but they can tell you haven't taken it and it's like illegal not to take your joy pill, I guess. Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. He just said that he's not doctor. He's mister. He's not a doctor. And he's going to do what to my brain? Haha, -ha, turn your light off. This guy is not Please, even... have a seat. Hold on, I'm checking out all your stuff to see what I can Please play with. Please don't touch anything. I'm... I want to touch stuff. So, what exactly are we doing? We're going to do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study. This will actually help me. Well, I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> You know I have a serious condition, right? You heard about the car crash, the X months to live deal? Yes, I heard. Must be hard having to hear that. As you know, it's because your brain is weakened so much that it can start to bleed every so often. And if it ever gets real bad, it will kill me. Well, we probably can't restore your brain completely, but we should be able to make those X months turn into years, decades even. And if you take care of yourself and don't do anything too crazy, we should be able to get you to outlive the best of us. Take your allergy pill. <laughs> I'll forget. Maybe I'll remember. 
Oh man. Here we go. All right, let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Toronto, Canada, Munchie. Canada. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph, version six. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. That's so. Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. Cheese. Dang, my heart rate's 65. It's nice and, nice and chill so far. I would, but that would require me to get up. I don't plan on getting up until like 11.30 to do dishes. Hello? Mr. Munchie? Did something go wrong? Mr. Munchie? This isn't funny. My eyes have poor frame rate. I'm not supposed to put myself in... This is kind of stressing me out. Hey! Anyone? Unlock terminal from service console. Service console, insert Omni tool to access. In the novel, Pretty similar case, however, the story takes place in New London, futuristic London, which is isolated from the world. That sounds interesting. What's the book called? It's, um, Brave New World? Okay. So when it's something that I can actually pick up and use, the fingers are are closed more on my hand. And that's something I can poke. No way! Are you kidding? That actually worked? I don't believe that worked. That was awesome. Okay. You know what? I turned the gamma up a little bit just because I was afraid of it being too dark. Let me know if this is too dark and I can always turn it up some more, but I was feeling like it was a little bit bright. All right, we got a chain and a lock there. Okay. So they're the they're the ones that have all that fancy technology and whatnot and a new world order. That sounds interesting. Novel was recently adapted as a show back in 2020 by Peacock. Unfortunately, it didn't get renewed, so it's only one season. Oh. Looks so crisp, my GPU would never do this. This game is pretty old. This this game came out in 2015. I have everything completely maxed, and my GPU is running about 45%. 
All right, this is also locked. So that way is break room. That way was locked. I have a 4K monitor in my cart right now, and I plan on getting the 6800 XT. Should be good for 4K. Awesome. Hell yeah. I am I am playing at a 4K resolution right now, but it's it's downscaled to 1080 for the stream, so it should look really nice. Oh, it's a comb. Ew, what is that? I, mean, I feel a little bit uneasy right now in this place, but not necessarily scared. Home is a state of mind. Garbage? Oh, come on. I can do it. I have confidence. Yay! <laughs> okay, I don't see anything. Speaking of monitors, I can't wait to get my new 4K TV. That's what I have right now. That's what I'm looking at. I love it. It really shows me how crappy my old, my old Sony TV was that I got in 2011. I can really tell the difference when I'm watching a movie on that TV now. Okay, I don't necessarily love that. Um, but I guess that's the only way we can go. I got a, an LG because the LG TVs have like a, a sync with NVIDIA graphics cards specifically so that's why I got that brand plus L everything I've ever gotten LG was really good especially the phones which they don't make good LG phones anymore what are those I don't I don't love those okay I don't see anything useful anywhere So when I look at these guys, my my brain messes up a little bit. He doesn't like that. And that way I can use the full potential of my PS5 next year. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. RE4 remake. I'm going to play that as soon as possible. Uh, that's one that I will pre-order if I can. Um, oh, no. Oh, I forgot. So we have a problem right now. There is a Steam Next Fest going on until the 10th, which is six more days, which means we get like unlimited free demos. So we may have to take a day. What? Wait, actually, what day? What day is the 10th? Okay, it's next. It's Monday. So maybe this weekend we'll have to get on Steam and pick a crap ton of demos to play. And then just go through them all. I did it last time, and I played I played demos for six hours, and I didn't get through all the ones that I got. So, I definitely want to do that. Oh, I can touch it? Why would I want to touch it? Ooh, look at those shinies. It's so shiny. All right, let's touch it. Me? Why are you like this? You want some structure, Joe? Yeah, you do. So weird. Doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna 
shut you down now, okay? Yeah, you're creepy as hell, so I'm gonna shut you down. How did I do that? We also have Ari Village DLC coming soon. Yeah, yeah, we talked about that last night. Um, it's coming out on the 27th or something like that. I, I have already pre-ordered that. So the day that comes out, we're playing it. Also, I pre-ordered Scorn, which comes out on the 14th. And we will be playing that the day that it comes out. I've been kind of waiting for Scorn for years. Move while crouching is less noisy, reduces the chance of being noticed? Who's going to notice me? Is that happening inside that room? I don't know if I want to go in there then. Oh yeah, reverse? I forgot all about that. That was supposed to come out with Village, and then it didn't. Omni-tool. Tab to see your inventory. The Omni-tool is an advanced interface for accessing, managing, and controlling computerized systems. The onboard intelligence includes an open set of behaviors and protocols to enable the user to automate... Oh, it's just dripping. Omnitool will automatically adapt its program to cover subconscious behavior to optimize work and minimize user error. Short range signal useful for basic automated actions such as opening doors while performing complex operations. The multi tool should be physically connected to a workstation or terminal. To upgrade your device, simply slide operators into the main or the auxiliary slot. The main slot has a standard connector. Okay. Wi-Fi police is going to notice. <laughs> what is that? That looks like a guy. All right, so I got the Omni tool. I didn't think I got that close to it.
Swipe Omni Tool. Do I have a map? No. Um, hold on. Let's go this way first. Oh. And then that's locked. Okay. Let's go back to that terminal. Whoop, not that way. Wait, can I open that? No. And then what about this? No. Was that an alien? Um, I don't know yet. Service console up to three, including pilot seat activated. Build shape and optimize your Omni tool with fully customized but customizable tools and assistance. Toolbox. View text. Okay. Remote access denied. Servers offline. May main power suspended. Emergency systems 13 days re remaining. Subject Simon Jarrett. That's me. David Munchie. Toronto. Welcome back, Luis Mueran. Your Omni tool is in perfect condition, but not fitted with a tool chip. Note that without a tool chip, your FST kit will be unavailable, including your cross-site security access. To continue using your designated privileges, please insert a tool chip and run an update. Okay, unlock toolbox. Open. Open toolbox. Oh. Did that just disappear? You're currently being serviced by the default onboard intelligence helper Jane. Note that installing a Cortex chip will override the helper and may severely alter your user experience. I know they told you that field technicians would get full access throughout Pesos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not gonna happen. Don't get me wrong, I don't wanna get in your way. We need you guys to keep this place up and running, but there needs to be at least some level of security on these things. I don't want to hear you barge into some quarantined area at Omicron and just knocked out the whole place with some virus Omicron. or whatever the hell they're doing over there. This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors, basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. Then what do you do? You shove that Omni tool into a terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, sometimes you'll need to get into places where you don't belong. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. What else? Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. My name is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. I got an office at Thetum. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Good luck. Oh, wait. 
basic ductile suits. Unknown contamination in three. Do I need to... Do I need to wear a suit? Pilot seat, number three. Pilot seat offline. Do I need to turn the power back on? No. Okay. I wanted to put my tool back in here so that I could see if I could see what kind of chip I put in it, but I guess I guess it is what it is. Okay. Well, here we go. It's working better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can. Rather not take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock out the comms out. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you the data safe and sound. We just need to make sure we leave enough power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. I don't have a light. Oh, wait. Was I in here? Yeah. I was in here, I think. Alright. See what's in here. Okay, there's one hallway here. I didn't go down, I don't think. Nothing. Oh, oh, this is back to my room here. Okay, well that wasn't open before. All right, well let's go to where the lights are. Whoa, we're underwater. Little bit of Bioshock style.
gonna do dishes now. All right. I have a feeling we're about to get into a scary part. <coughs> it's coming up. Dude, I think I would hate this. Being under the ocean in a facility like this. I thought those were feet when we were back here. Observation tower, we're going to security. Touch the cloaca. It doesn't hurt anymore. Doesn't hurt anymore? Okay. Well, it also turned this from red. Oh, perfect. Official, what's going on? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. We haven't seen any monsters yet. It's been trying to. It's been trying to scare us like that. How's the game so far? It's pretty cool so far. So. We are a guy who got, he was driving with a girl who was his friend, though they didn't say girlfriend. Uh, we were driving and we got T-boned by a lady who ran a red light in an SUV, hit our car, killed the girl in our car, and my guy has uh, brain damage and his brain is bleeding until it heals itself. So he went to this guy who is not a doctor to do this procedure that's supposed to help his brain heal uh, We went in the machine and we woke up here in this facility that so far appears to be underwater So that's what's going on right now Need barbecue instead of BRB. I got nuts. I got peanuts Nice ambience Doing okay, decided didn't want to go anywhere today, so I'm here. Yay! Brain damage under what we're in a, a place underwater. I guess similar to Bioshock, though Bioshock was like uh So that's station control. Let's see what was over here. Bioshock was an actual city underwater. This seems to be like a research facility or something like that. What's this way? Exhaust? Basically the man performed a lobotomy on us and we're daydreaming. We went into the machine and then woke up here and that's really all that's kind of happened. Okay, we do have to go the other way. I like to check everything. Would it be better? Would it be better if this, um, if this was over here? Does it matter to anybody? Let me know what you think. I haven't got my heart rate up yet. I did turn the gamma down so it was darker, so hopefully it'd be a little more scary. I got my light down lower. Bioshock. Bioshock is basically somebody wanted to build a city under the ocean and everyone there went crazy. Mental hospital love. I've always loved asylum horror. 
Yeah, I want. I really wanted to play that asylum or uh, mental hospital game we looked at last night, but this this I've been waiting to play, and I forgot about it. Diego, what's going on? Thanks for stopping by. Playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla, third DLC, Dawn of Ragnarok, utilizing the free Ubisoft Plus. I played all those. That was like the first game that I really started streaming regularly. I played all the DLCs. Streamed it for something like 170 hours. <laughs> I was reading books like that probably before I should have. Underwater place reminds me of Beyond Two Souls. I played that as well. What about brain damage? My character has brain damage. His brain is is currently bleeding. Okay, I see something moving over there. A little bit. Oh, there's a couple things moving. So this robot is like jacked into the equipment. Are we supposed to pull it off of there? Can I put you back? There you go. Don't touch the structure. Gel... Structure gel leakage. Can confirm... Its effect on... Wayu? Issue has been reported to SSE... Okay. Where the Chinese government built the passage to the spirit world? Oh. Oh, yeah, 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 yep. Finally, a protagonist for people like us. Hey, Envy, what's up? Good to see ya. We haven't really seen anything super scary yet. <clears throat> I don't know if you just heard my rundown of, of what's currently going on. Everyone's coming. Awesome. Hell yeah. Also, I feel my mother was the fuel to the drama. She left it and it calmed down. Summoned Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is not quite here yet. That, have, that worked the other night though. So I was finishing up watching another Brave game, so started to the stream late, but just caught up. Well, cool. We're happy to have you. All right, well, I guess I'm supposed to pull this robot off. Hey, you should have talked to me when I was talking to you. It doesn't work when you're touching it. Hey. Uh-oh, I killed it. Well, we got power now. Manual boot sequence, S1, S2. Button. Button. Uh, second button. Third button. Okay. Oh, what? Okay. Okay. See the turbine spinning up there.
Is that okay? I killed the robot for that. Yeah, I, I just sort of woke up here. In the room right now? Uh, it, it, was, it was like a, a seat with a helmet. Is that right? Uh, what's your name? I, I'm Simon Jarrett. And what do you... Oh, so, damn relays. Where are you now? Uh, uh, uh someplace dealing with electrical power. I, I'm not sure if it's a plant or a transformer. Uh, yeah, you're probably in a thermal plant somewhere. You want to go upstairs to the comm center. It's the room with the dome ceiling. Uh, hey... Look, look, this place is not... There's something seriously wrong here. Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. We lost another relay. Just listen, head for the comm center upstairs. I'll wait here. Okay. What was that? Is that like a thermal vent or something and it's turning the turbine? You think it would be more connected, more directly connected. I'm gonna turn the audio down again. Recorded downtime 143 days. Energy production 426 megawatts. Structural inner hull integrity, multiple breaches. Sector AD, GJK. Minor perforation, armor, abandoned, pressure sluices, locked. Okay, it seems like there's lots of problems. Oh, hi, hi. <laughs> Jump down and find out. Can't do it. Suspected structural faults must be reported immediately. High pressure steam. Oh, come on. This is not what I wanted. Okay. Okay, we got our first something. <clears throat> oh, are you kidding me? just happened oh god oh god oh god uh run go faster oh no I'm not here I'm not here I'm not here Game looks badass. Well, I died. Game over. All right, next game.
It's pretty cool so far, though I can't say that I'm actually, like, getting scared yet. With games like, like Visage or Outlast. I don't exactly know where I'm supposed to be going here. In here? Let's poke it. We gotta poke the cloaca. What am I supposed to do? I see an open door now. The sounds that that thing's making is pretty cool. do now I thought that this was the way to go get stuck in there I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing Hopefully it turns left. I'm gonna look for some more stuff back there.
The only thing I could see to do was turn the valve, and that exploded on me. I guess I'll try going up the stairs again. Oh, I see. Oh, close the door, close the door. Okay, got it. Wasn't too bad. Amy sketchbook. Ooh, a map. Right, like I'm gonna remember that. I'm not. Ooh. I don't know what that... Is this like health? What am I doing? Why am I poking these? Down process initiated. Check terminal for details. <clears throat> All right, I need a. Okay, I need an ID number. Okay. And probably a password. Can I open this and look for any of that? Just multitasking. Stop poking the giant sphincter. <laughs> well, I guess I'm supposed to. I don't know. <laughs> Communications. Access to comm center. Okay. We got, we got robots in here. We can go in there. I don't know where that one goes. All right. We got a lot of doors we can go in here. Critical system failure. Oh, I can throw? Oh, cool. All right, well, let's talk to this guy. Run? When in doubt, poke the sphincter. 
something happened to the stream. It kicked me or acted like it stopped. Yeah. Seems as though the internet's crashing again. Oh, no. Okay. So I have some, I don't know, bad news about the new internet that they're supposed to put in on the 28th. It, 28th is a Friday. And they can't schedule a, t a time window for them to come install it. It's Friday anywhere between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. And I was like, well, that's not going to work for me because I work from 8 to 5 on Friday. Do you do weekends? No, we don't do weekends. So I either have to cancel the new internet install. I don't even know if anyone's back except... I either have to cancel my new internet install on the 28th or take the day off of work to have it installed. So I'm kind of leaning towards take the day off of work because I don't take days off of work very often. I don't have any vacation left, so it'd be an unpaid day. Sit here all day. I mean, I'd probably stream until they showed up. Um and then have them install the new internet. So I guess that's my best bet is to take the 28th, take the whole day off of work because they can't schedule a time in between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Uh, uh, Cold Designer, what's going on? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by if you're still here. Yeah, the internet is effing right now. And I think it would be worth it to take the day off of work to not have to deal with this anymore. Do you get uh, the paid time to spare? I don't. I don't have the paid time. <laughs> but I might do it anyway. So, anyway, I found that out today, which is great. Like, what? They expect people to take the day off, the whole day off, just for them to come put internet in? Stupid. I'm trying to stall to see if it comes back. I don't know. It might not. Might as well just keep going, I guess. But we can't keep dealing with this crap every night. I gotta do something. Oh god, he's dead. He's dead. Carl Semkin. Oh, what? I can't take his car? Oh, yeah. Wait, what? There. Did you get the final backup turbos going? Everything is wired evenly. We've hedged our bets as much as we possibly can. So that's it. Enough power to run Pathos 2 until the next apocalypse. We're ready to go. I really hope we didn't mess anything up. I don't want to have to come back here again. Relax, it's over. We're going to Theta. Maybe we should seal more blocks. I don't trust the helpers to let this place run in peace. We've sealed everything. Everything from the barracks to the comm center. If anyone ever sets their foot here again, they're gonna have a hell of a time getting a rock off. Well, I can't take half a day off because... They could be here anywhere between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. And that's the exact time that I work. And if I'm not here, then they're not going to do it. They're not going to install the internet if I'm not here. So I have to take the whole day off unless they show up at 8 a.m. and get it done. And then I could go to work later, which... I could go to work later, which I'm not going to do. 
If I'm at home, I'm going to stay home. Plus, I'd have new internet. I'd have to try it out. So that's stupid. You never know when they'll show up. Yeah. Yeah, so I have to be here the whole time. So I was on the phone with him. I'm like, are you kidding me? I have to take the whole day off of work just so you guys can come put the internet in? She's like, yep. What are you? Are you blind? It's me, Carl. Carl Semke. Wrangler? Any of this sound familiar to you? I, no, actually. Well, thanks for being so helpful. It's not like I'm knocked out on the floor or anything. Are you human? Shit, did, did my body give it away? I try hard to save mystery. Yeah, I'm human. Are you? Uh, my name is Simon. Do you know anything about this place? Oh, you knew. That makes us slightly less weird. Look, I'm obviously hurt. If you see anyone else around, just tell them where I am. Okay. So that's the dead guy that we just looked at in the hallway. He's in the robot. Everything. Yeah, it just sucks that, you know, this... You always got to do something to the company's rules. Like, I'm... I, they can't come over on the weekend and do this? Nobody? Like, I'm the customer. I'm going to be paying you guys money. I'm paying you to install it. I'm going to be paying you monthly. You're providing me with the service, and i got to accommodate the company. What the hell are you doing? <clears throat> I don't know. It just... Seems like I can't get any company to work... To work with me, you know? I don't know. What happened to the customer... Customer service? Alright, what have I done? <coughs> Uh-oh. Are you okay? I'm sorry. I, I think I pulled the wrong lever. Don't, don't sweat it. Just get me a doctor. Okay. Well, I guess I'm not supposed to do that yet. Well, um, let's go upstairs. This is our next one. Oh, what? Okay, fine. Remember, my provider gave me the same time scale you got and they didn't arrive until 3 p.m. and it was pouring outside. Poor guy. Spook's giving all year from now on is spook. Well, I'll probably end up taking the day off, <coughs> getting the internet, unless Comcast seems to fix their internet before then. Um, and I'll probably just get up at like 7 or 7.30 or something, make breakfast, and I imagine that they'll tell me like when they're on the way and I'll probably just I'll probably just stream or something until they get here and when they're here I'll just shut it down and when they get the new internet out we'll give it a try new internet installed we'll give it a try um flow control all right we can't look at the flow Thanksgiving. <laughs> I feel like I should have a suit on or something. Theta, turn around. We sealed Upsilon to keep it working. Don't F it up. Carl was not my fault. Carl's still around, kinda. Oh, I thought that was a gun. Just a boot. Ooh. Amy. Can I not take that? Why can't... I feel like I should take those. Here on Naked Shrek Island, we don't celebrate Thanksgiving. We celebrate Spanksgiving. Don't get that started about customer service. Try understanding those customer service reps on the other side of the planet that can't speak freaking English. 
Yeah, the lady I talked to, too, today doesn't even live in Colorado. They just, now they have people at home just taking calls. So it's some lady sitting in her house somewhere, doesn't know anything, can't do anything. I mean, not she doesn't know anything. Doesn't know anything about, you know, how to help. She can't do anything. She's just a lady on her computer in her house. She's not, I don't know. I don't know. I just can't ever get anyone, any company to help me with anything. Okay. Well, I'll be in here. <laughs> Should watch scammer payback videos? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I want to I wanna watch some more videos for sure. Am I going to get oceaned when I open this? Nope. Well, okay. Now what am I supposed to do? Mind your head. Put a suit on. Can't go that way. So this is the robot. Carl? Did you get the final backup turbos going? Everything is wired evenly. We've hedged our bets as much as we possibly can. So that's it. Enough power to run Pathos 2 until the next apocalypse. We're ready to go. I really hope we didn't mess anything up. I don't want to have to come back here again. Relax, it's over. We're going to Theta. Maybe we should seal more blocks. I don't trust the helpers to let this place run in peace. We sealed everything. Everything from the barracks to the comm center. If anyone ever sets their foot here again, they're going to have a hell of a time getting a rock off. See, I can't even keep... I can't even keep a stream running long enough, you know? Ah, oh, God. It doesn't use that much internet, man. I gotta... I gotta take the day off and get that internet, because this is... I can't take this anymore. Well, what am I supposed to do here? I need a password. Oh, wait! ID number! Oh, wait! Amy! That's what I needed. Zero seven three five. Yay. Welcome back. Hey, the internet's back too. Jeez. Okay. Good job. Try to get all the backup turbos running and cut power to 60%. With all the evacuations, we can survive in a low and steady on a low and steady hum. No need to strain the system. We should be able to get 20 to 25 years of production before we have to fall back on the turbos. The robots are getting increasingly erratic all over Pathos 2, and unfortunately, there is no universal kill switch. Seeing how we won't return, seeing how we won't return to Upsilon, you could try sealing off sectors to prevent the helpers from getting to the sensitive areas. We've managed to link most backup turbos and activate all generators. Upsilon should be able to produce power for at least a decade before we start burning through the flues. The bad news is that the machines are getting worse. We've tried to come up with a way to shut them all down, but considering the insane amount of units at Upsilon, it's not looking good. Seriously worried they could disrupt power production when we leave. Ideas? Okay. 
What is parasites in reference to if you mention naked? Oh, we got to see some gameplay earlier of this game called The Parasites. Well, actually, I called them to see if there was a cancellation that I could move it up sooner. And they did have a cancellation for the 13th, Wednesday, the 13th, which is uh, way sooner. But it was Wednesday, and I'm like, oh, well, I, I have to work. I won't be there, so I'll just keep my regular one because it's on Saturday. Well, it turns out it's on Friday. So I could have moved it up to the 13th because I got to take a day off either way. <clears throat> The stream my TV went to another video. Yep. Like nobody asked how I'm doing because they expect a bad, bad day like usual. Okay. Uh, what are we doing? Insufficient power. <clears throat> The solution found shut down one of the highlighted sections to divert power to the communication center. So I'm here. I can't get in here, but I can shut this one down. When I shut this one down, it hurts the robot. Okay. Uh, storage on. That's that one. Low control on. Okay, I can get in there now. Insufficient power. Sufficient power. Okay, wait. Uh, staff. All right, we can get in here now. Very squishy sounding. Is that a light switch? Yay, lights! Alright, clear the room first. I don't like that. This black box is a precision instrument designed to observe your overall condition. It measures a wide range of data from body temperature to brain wave activity. This information is constantly relayed to Pathos 2 Warden Unit. So the station can provide you the appropriate climate for every situation. For optimum performance, please follow the auto injector instructions carefully to make sure the implant is properly applied. Okay. Am I supposed to do this? Because... Doesn't seem like I can. Why? I mean, this looks like important. Why? What is the point of this room then? <laughs> if I can't do that. All right, so I did open the other room over here, too. Okay, we can get in here now. All right, we got another cloaca to poke. Okay. Restrain the system. If you pull the lever, there's no turning back. Make sure you want it bad enough. What's the lever do? Stop power transfer. Okay. All 
right, well, I guess it's we're stuck like that then. <clears throat> Let's go back. Oh, no. I should have hid farther down. I know a good place, but I didn't think of it till now. Oh, geez. No, 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 no. Com center on. All right, I think I can go up the stairs now. Yeah. Okay, go, 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 go. Ah, you suck. Corrupted data detected. Restore files? Okay. Look in stream clips and Discord when you get free time. You will then know what about uh, naked and the parasites. Okay. Dang, it's 10 o'clock already? How does this happen? <clears throat> Why does time go faster at this time of day? Okay. Poke. <laughs> He's even like, ugh.
Where am I? New York. The office is closing down and everyone's being evacuated from everyone here. I want to say it's been an honor working with you and Upsilon. Godspeed and good luck with the... Wait. Good luck with the apocalypse? Update on defense measurements. Final efforts by the global community to prevent collision has failed. Pathos 2 should take any final efforts to deal with the inevitable quake following impact? Estimated time for impact, 513. It's with great sadness I have to inform you that the office will close and can no longer support Upsilon and Pathos 2. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you, your supervisor Jane Adams and the rest of the staff. You are a terrific group and it's with great confidence I say that where we fall, you will surely carry on with bravery. I know you have a much better chance of for survival, but we have the better view. What? Okay. Well, let's turn this thing on. <coughs> Lumar link broken. Manual input required. Yeah, view of what? They said impact, right? Unable to call site epsilon from site epsilon. Okay. Uh, 2202. <clears throat> Site theta. Link error. found the dome ceiling. Oh, that's better. Simon, was it? Uh, Jared. Simon Jared. Hi, Simon. I'm Catherine. Have you figured out what's going on yet? Me? I was hoping you'd have some answers. I probably have some. What do you want to know? Where to even begin? I mean, what is this place? How did I get here? And, and why do the robots talk like they're people? Well, you're at Upsilon, clearly. Have you never been there before? Where did you work? The Grimoire in Toronto. Is that really important? No, I mean, where did you work at Pathos 2? I don't know what that is. That's unexpected. Did you come directly from Toronto? Yeah, I did. And it was very unexpected. Have you seen any people? Like, staff or field technicians? Only robots. Crazy ones. This is also strange. You're telling me. What was that? Whoa! What's going on? I think this place is about to collapse. What do I do? I'm not done in here yet. We got other places to call. I didn't call everybody. Um, OK. 
Okay. Oh. We're going out. Transfer to an agent about your extended. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Which way do I go? What's over here? Find the shuttle to land. Robots out here. No good. Transport. This must be the shuttle, right? those scam calls by going through the whole process describing a Hot Wheels car with fake numbers and everything we are regretful to inform you that your Amazon account has made a purchase of 2000 <laughs> you must go buy gift cards to get your refund is that what they tell you because I, I heard the guy like redeeming the gift card uh, codes and stuff and it was pissing off the scammer guys but like why would any company tell you do that like they can just refund they can just refund you <laughs> oh there is a robot there Cryptocurrency ones too. Is that a is that a bad robot? I'm gonna guess it is. To send you a check, deposit it in your account, and send X. You keep the rest. <clears throat> oh. Hmm. 
Hmm. It was talking, so I was like, well, maybe I'm supposed to talk to it. Epsilon B. What? Hi. Are you my friend? No? You just gonna leave me like that? Go, man. There's another sign there. There's something here. <clears throat> There's too many places to go. Um, there was another sign back this way. Salon. <clears throat> I don't know where I'm going, robot. Can you help? There's the other one. was a great coach in making millions so you sign up he asks you for you to buy cryptocurrency yeah just don't like ever buy or give or take money from anybody on the internet or over the phone ever what's that Like, it's always too good to be true that someone's just going to give you money. No one's just going to give you money. Just always assume everything is a scam. Everything is a scam until proven otherwise. Okay, let's go over here, robot. Usually 5,000 puff, where's to help you start and... Your mom is a scam? <laughs> Epsilon, okay, am I going the right way? Am I going back the way I came? I have no idea. Yeah, there's that guy. This is the way I came from. Where am I supposed to go, robot? There's no map. Is this the way to go? Many of the people who watch scam baiters run into YouTube comment scams and mainly elderly Americans. Find something? Are you trying to show me something? What? Am I supposed to go this way? I don't imagine I'm supposed to go this way. Or am I? Whoa, I didn't know I could climb the rocks like that. Not gonna make it. Uh.
I supposed to jump up on this thing? I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea. Can I go up here? Oh, come on. Thought I had it figured out. Ooh, what's this? Nothing. Here's a boat. All right, I think I found a new area. Here we go. Yay! Good job, robot. Well, thanks, little guy. Thank you. Come back, there's another door. Right? I was just going to say, where did I get a flashlight? Jackie, come in, Theta. What? I can't. Where are you now? Jackie, I'm at the shuttle. It's not looking good. The lights get the light mad. I, I think the power regulator is broken. I have to fix it. I don't want to get stranded halfway to Theta. <laughs> he was hiding it in his hiding spot. <laughs> okay. Geothermal plant. Of course, we don't have power again. That's what I have to find. Seven screws, 15 nuts, two relays, 10 other screws. Okay. That one's locked. That one's locked too.
Well, I guess we're going down the tunnel. <laughs> Alright, don't come after me, train. Maintenance. Oh, I probably could have gone that way. <laughs> What the hell? Hey, are you? Don't hurt me! Can I help? You won't let me die. Nothing is allowed to die. What happened? An accident. Fixing the power. I was going to Theta. Anything I can do? If you see Masters or Holland, tell them I need help. Okay? Amy needs help. What about the other guy that was the robot? I kind of left him behind. Am I supposed to unplug this guy? No! Shit. Are you okay? Are you okay? I don't know. I want to go home. Like, I have to unplug it, right? Is that enough power? Power supply unstable, basic powered, track shuttle powered, safety systems offline. I wonder if I can, because she's not dead yet. I wonder if I can leave it like that and go back to the shuttle. We just won't have safety systems. And then maybe... Maybe I have a choice of either killing her and getting full power or leaving it like this and not having safety systems. Alright. Well, I didn't... I didn't kill her. Our safety system is things like brakes? Because I think we need brakes. Shuttle J6 activated. Warning. Unreliable power. Proceed with caution. Okay. I don't know what that does. Don't know what that does. I'm not sure where I want to go. Uh, I'm here. I guess Lambda's the next place. Yeah, let's go here. Let's see if we crash. I don't like that. You can't really see where you're going, and we're going fast. Welcome to Pathos 2, your expressway to the stars. What started as a thermal mining operation in the 60s has now become home to the Omega Space Gun, the world's most affordable way to launch satellites and deep space probes. Our unique Atlantic Ocean location allows for this gigantic coil gun, running longer than a marathon, to safely launch projectiles without risk of damaging the payload with risky combustion. The station has multiple sites and has a diverse staff of engineers and scientists. Together, they are able to produce, assemble, and launch the world's most sophisticated spacecrafts. In addition to our principal operation, Pathos 2 is all. 
also the home for multiple research projects within the marine sciences, including hydroculture, turbulence, and deep sea construction. We are now leaving Upsilon for Lambda. Lambda is Pathos 2's shipping dock and transportation hub. There, you will be able to find shuttle trains leading to all the other parts of the station. Blizzard is currently being bombarded with DDoS attacks. Most of the games are having issues. Well, good. I crashed. That's perfect. Emergency exit. I'll take that. Is there no other way to get out? I'm not going back that way. Simon. Simon, are you there? Catherine, is that you? I was on my way, but then the shuttle train, it, it fucking crashed. Are you alright? The system says the section is sealed for suspected hull breach. No, I'm not alright. What the hell happened to the world? Why are we underwater? Well, you're really out of place, aren't you? Well, don't worry about that right now. I realize you're confused, but you're so close to Lambda. If you just keep going. How close? Can I walk there? Yeah, but the tunnel is locked off to protect the overall structure from collapsing. What you need to find is your section's maintenance hatch. It'll lead outside. Maintenance hatch. No problem. What's that? What's going on up there? I gotta go. See you soon, Simon. Yeah, Blizzard is a game game company. You okay? Activision Blizzard. Exit. Okay, I can go that way. What's going on here? Ooh, I get to poke it. Game Company, Overwatch, World of Warcraft, Call of Duty, Diablo, Starcraft. Uh oh, this one's sucking Jesus me in. Christ. What the hell? Um. Okay, that one tried to suck my hand in. Close that. Nope. Okay. Alright, the game just saved. And we're at two hours. We're a little bit over two hours, so I gotta get going and get to bed. Okay. And then that's the way to get out. So yeah, the game just auto-saved right before I went up this ladder. So I'm gonna have to call it a night. Um, they've had some controversy in the last few years. I don't remember exactly what, but it wasn't great. So, so far with this game, it's not as scary as I was hoping it was going to be. Maybe it's just because it's seven years old. Maybe if I played this in 2015, it'd be super scary, but I think, I think I've played scarier games so I was expecting it to be like that and it's not quite as much maybe it'll get scarier as we go but um, it's really cool just not um, as horror as I thought uh, famous yeah we've only just begun oh yeah oh does it get does it get scarier and better yeah that's what I'm expecting I mean I've only been playing the game for two hours so, um, it's probably got more to come. So I got to call it a night and get to bed. I have been, oh man, 
I have been not going to bed until like midnight or between midnight and one o'clock. So I'm going to try to get there before 11 tonight. So um, we'll continue this tomorrow, I guess. We got to get through this one uh, because there's some releases coming up that I want to get to. Uh, there's also like if we finish this and we need to kill a day or two, there's some demos I want to get to. There's Steam Next Fest is going on right now. So there's just like lists and lists of hundreds and hundreds of demos free demos that we can play. That's what I did before. Um, in the summer, I think was there was another steam next fest and I streamed for like six hours of just demos and I only got through like four of them. So, uh, we can work on that this weekend or something. I want to watch some videos too. There's just too much stuff to do. Trump caught a Sharpie one handed. And his followers are acting like he's the only one on the earth that can do it. The Trump bets the feet. So yeah, I guess we'll just continue this. Um, we should be finished with it by this weekend. So what, today's Tuesday? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Unless I take, unless I take too long to play it like I usually do. Um, I should finish it by like Saturday, I suppose. Anyway, we can put some other stuff in between there too. We don't just have to do this, um, you know, every day for the whole time. So, all right, I'm going to get to bed. Thanks so much for coming to hang out with me today. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the stream, don't forget to hit the like button for me. Leave me your thoughts in the comments. If you're watching later and you can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more streams and other videos and I will be back again tomorrow same time and I'll see you then later guys have a good night